Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you a really awesome tool in Photoshop called the Background Eraser Tool. The Background Eraser Tool is actually a really good tool to uh, isolate something from your photo. So in this case we have this bird here and we want to isolate it, we want to remove it from the photo. And so uh, you can do this in many ways. You can make a quick selection, you can do a magic wand selection, uh, you can do a color range selection. Uh, but the background eraser tool is actually a fun, quick, and almost perfect tool to use uh, when trying to remove something from your uh, from your photo. And so let's go ahead and make a duplicate of this image. I'm going to go down here, drag it down to the bottom, and then we have a duplicate, and I'm going to hide the background layer. The reason why we do this is just in case we mess up, we need to go back to the original. We always have it there. So now to find the background eraser tool, you're going to look for it on your toolbar over here, and most likely you're going to see the eraser tool just like that. So if you just see that and you want to get to the background eraser tool, just click on the uh, eraser tool and hold and you'll see the uh, new menu pop up and you'll see the background eraser tool. And so you're going to see a little bit of options up here. You can make your brush size larger and smaller, your hardness uh, very hard or a very soft brush. Uh, and most of these defaults, I've left the I've left them completely by default. I haven't changed anything up here and it does really well. Um, but the tolerance is one thing that you might have to change. The tolerance is whether uh, you it's a more sensitive selection or, or not. So I usually keep it around 10 and that normally works for me. All right, so I have my little uh, background eraser brush right here, and I'm just going to make sure it's fairly small. It's kind of the smaller, smaller brush size you have, the more uh, precise the selection is. So as you can see, I'm painting this away. It's it's doing just like a regular eraser would. But as I go over here and go over the beak, you can see it's not selecting the beak at all, but it's selecting the background and, and just erasing it away. You can see I'm slowly painting over the feathers of the uh, bird here. Going down to the uh, foot there, on the piece of wood that it's standing on. And you can see it's done a pretty good job. So I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. You can see it kind of messed up there. Uh, if we want to try it again, just undo and just see if we can get a better selection. And all I'm doing is just clicking on the mouse once and following the line of the, uh, of the object, which is in this case the bird. So I'm just going to keep going around. And just like that, we've kind of taken away the uh, the bird from the background. So now what we can actually do is switch to a regular eraser tool, and now we can paint away the uh, the background if we wanted to. So there you go. Now you can see we just removed the whole background here. We still have the original there, uh, and we still can remove that, and we have nothing. Um, you can see that it has a little bit of issues here. Uh, we didn't get rid of the uh, little piece there in between where the where the background was uh, separated by the foot. Uh, that's as easy as just making a layer mask, but you can see this gives you a really good start to uh, to remove something, this, uh, especially something that might be difficult with, with feathers. You might still need to go in here and fix a little bit of the feathers back here, uh, but it's a very good start and a very cool tool to use to incorporate with your techniques of removing something from the background. All right, guys, thank you for joining me in this quick little tutorial on how to use the background eraser tool in Photoshop. This is Jordan from SlickLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you